This gorgeous and rugged overlanding unit is an Australian designed and tested camper. And uh, we've had a ton of questions about it. So we're gonna try to do a great walkthrough and answer and hit all those highlights. Um, Opus's theory and design characteristics include making a small towable profile that opens up into a large living space. So we're gonna show you that. And we're also gonna demonstrate its overlanding capabilities and, and how it's set up to keep you and your family comfortable on extended trips. Here we go. Overlanding makes me hungry. Let's start with the kitchen. Opus is known for their pull-out kitchens and their outdoor kitchens. Uh, this kitchen started in the OP4 and it was so awesome and usable, we decided to use it in the OP15 as well. Let's go. So we have two lockable latches. We have two latches here, allows the stainless steel kitchen to keep sliding out and out and out. We have a couple of wind dams. And then we have a four burner stove with piezo ignition, which means I just turn it on and it lights just like a kitchen would at home. We have a stainless steel dish rack. And, oh, this LED light's awesome. Let me plug it in real quick. It's 12 volts and it allows me to see what I'm cooking at night or at dusk, huge feature. Probably the most outstanding feature about the kitchen is the 110 outlet over here. And this is run off an inverter off your battery. So while I'm off grid and I'm overlanding, I have access to 110 power. So I can plug in a coffee pot, I can plug in an appliance or anything that uses 110 power out by the kitchen. Um, I also have hot water um, on demand right here, hot and cold water provided by the Truma Combi. We'll go into more detail about that. The Truma is an amazing system in itself. Um, we have utensil storage with molded in dividers right here. More storage. We have our lockable pantry. And then we have the prep deck. So tons of table space. I can have my bowls, my food, my spices. I have my cooking. I have my stainless steel dish rack. Best kitchen on the market. We talked about the kitchen, where do you keep the food and beverages? Right here. Lockable storage. Amazing slide out fridge. This is a 12 volt fridge that is very stingy on its power demands. And it's also a freezer. So you can operate these independently of each other, both freezer, both refrigerator or either or. We also have our awning. This is a manual crank awning. It goes out eight feet and covers the kitchen as well as the entertainment area, which includes the TV. So you don't have to miss the big game or maybe watch those GoPro videos you shot that day. And then we have our outdoor speakers too for stereo, Bluetooth, sound. Overall, it's a great outdoor space. So let's talk about what makes this an overlanding unit. Probably the most spectacular feature, which I go back and forth on between suspension and hitch, but oh man, they're equal. We'll talk about hitch first. This is called the lock and roll, and it allows 360 degrees of movement in, in three different planes. So it gets tricky, but you have up and down movement, you have left and right movement, and then you have twisting 360 movement right here. This hitch is also one of the easiest hitches to hook up to your tow vehicle. You don't have to get exactly right on top of the ball like most trailers. It's these two little latches, it slides off. So your trailer can be over here and you can manipulate it easily on, on, safety pin, and you're good to go. It honestly feels like you're towing a bag of marshmallows down the trail or the freeway. It doesn't even feel like you have a trailer back there, it's amazing. Okay, moving on. This guy right here, uh, emergency brake, I love this. Uh, or parking brake, actually. <laughs> I don't think you're riding back here while you're saying, oh crap, I gotta pull the e-brake. So parking brake. I'm able to disconnect from the tow vehicle and on a trail or a parking lot, and I can activate the parking brake so I don't have to run and get my wheel chocks. I still wanna wheel chalk the unit, but this is a great, great feature. I wish every trailer in the world had this. Standard seven way plug, like any towing trailer um, with electric brakes, breakaway cable up here, um, these chains are incredibly strong. I have not seen a unit with safety chains this big before. That is super awesome. They're attached to a six inch welded galvanized frame, 
which is spectacular. Um, this tongue jack is crazy too. It allows for quick movements. So I don't have to crank for days. I can just easily manipulate the levers and pull it up and get it out of the way. Cool stuff like this, magnetic handle, I can toss inside the trailer because it's not catching on debris or rocks while I'm overlanding. Moving on down the trailer, we have dual propane tanks to keep you and your family out there on your excursion longer. And then we have additional water tank storage. I can also put fuel cells up there as well. So additional storage compartments right there. And now let's talk about the suspension. When you get a look at it, it's awesome. It's independent trailing arm coil spring suspension, and it is axleless. So there's no axle getting low in the way. It allows for 14 inches of ground clearance. And on top of that, you have dual gas uh, shock absorbers to smoothen out that ride. Um, there's additional features like underbody coating and diamond plate skid guards under your water tanks. Just an awesome, awesome unit set up for going over gnarly terrain. Let me show you how we're able to fit an RV King inside such a small unit. And I can't come back here and not talk about the massive off-road tires, uh, dual spares, super awesome in case you need one and then you need another one with matching alloy rims as a unit. Okay, to fold the unit down, I'm gonna unscrew these two knobs, set them down, unscrew or undo two latches. And then these tires are on a gas assist, so they come down real easy. Very nice. Pop this latch, pop this latch. And we recommend that two people do this. I've done it enough where it only takes me, one person. Lift the roof up. Pull the doors out. Pull the door out. There's two latches that hold the bed in. Undo those guys, it comes down nice and slow. All right, pull the wall up, latch, 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 and that's it. The OP15 is known as a hybrid trailer, which allows us to gain additional headroom, that's about a foot and a half, but still maintain a smaller profile while towing, saving fuel. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to pop up the roof, and we're gonna go from this to that. There's four of these thumb latches that we unhook, like so. And then I'm gonna pop inside and push up two bars to gain that additional room. So the final part of popping the roof up is using these two bars that I'm gonna show you to lift the roof. So there is two safety pins. And then I put the safety pins back in, like so. Perfect. I do the same thing on the other side of the roof. It's the same exact bar, same process. And just for a frame of reference, I'm 6'4", and we market this bunk as a kid's bunk, but I'm gonna show you it's comfortable for me to get up there. So I can stretch out and chill. There's so many features in the OP15 to address. I'm gonna try to run through a couple fast. Um, First off is the windows and the, the curtains. They're pretty awesome. They're totally hidden away. You have day night curtains right here that lock up. And you also have uh, bug screens that slide down. These windows are also dual pane, so they're really well insulated. And they do lock um, ventilated. It's, it's a European style where I can close it, but I still have about that much ventilation. So I can keep the fan on and keep some circulation going on here when I'm not in it or when I'm in it and I want some more security. Um, speaking of ventilation, you won't find a camper with more windows. There's 12 windows total, six in the roof, and then six in the body of the camper. Uh, the amount of airflow is tremendous. I don't ever feel stuffy or claustrophobic. That's something Opus is known for is these big, open, airy spaces. Um, speaking of air, the furnace by, or the Truma Combi system, it's a hot water heater and a forced air furnace. And it's a 14,000 BTU furnace that heats up this small space really fast. It's also the most efficient 
heater on the RV market and is also super quiet. It's actually quieter than my talking right now, so I can sleep with it on no problem. Um, extremely easy to use. There's no pilot lights. It operates very similar to a digital thermostat like you'd have in your house. I just hit my temperature I want, go to it, press enter, and it takes me there. Um, same with the hot water and other features. Oh, there's also a great app that's available that you can control the Truma system on your phone when you're away. You can turn it on and you want your camper warm when you get there and you can turn your hot water heater on, etc. Another awesome feature is these outlets right here and right here. I mentioned this earlier, but they are powered off the battery. So I have 110 volts inside the camper and I sleep with a CPAP. So camping is kind of a challenge for me but being able to plug it in and know that I can easily go all night uh, with my CPAP on is super awesome. I can't stress that enough. Uh, moving on to the interiors, the OP, OP15 has really done a great job being rugged and refined. The interiors are mainly bamboo cabinetry and leatherette surfaces on the couch and the dinette. And then this mattress is also a 10 inch mattress, which you usually don't find in the camper. You usually find small little cushions that are kind of uncomfortable. This is, feels like I'm sleeping in my bed at home. Really awesome, deep cabinets and all bamboo again. It's a real nice positive lock. So when you're overlanding, your trailer's bouncing around, you don't want flimsy locks. So that is super awesome and important. Let's talk safety and comfort. We have a 13,000 BTU AC on the roof. It's gonna keep this area as cold as you want it. There's also a fan in the bathroom that's an exhaust fan or a intake fan. So it's push pull, you can choose whichever you want. Uh, Opus has also figured out safety. There's a carbon monoxide detector down low where it should be. There's a fire smoke detector on the ceiling where it should be. And there's a fire extinguisher at the front door. Everything in this place and a place for everything. When nature calls, you gotta find a bathroom, and this is it. This is a full-size bathroom with a normal toilet, not a cassette toilet. This toilet flushes into a 10-gallon holding tank. The shower has a 17-gallon holding tank, and don't forget the fresh water system holds 63 gallons. So there's a sink here, hot and cold water. There's a shower here, hot and cold water. I'm 6'4", lots of headroom, super comfortable. We're gonna talk about the control panel now. It's located right here, and this uh, controls everything 12 volt related on the OP15, as well as has your battery monitoring um, gauge and your water tank capacities. So it has two gauges for water, your front and rear tanks. It also has your black tank capacity and your gray tank capacity. Being able to monitor your potable water is huge when you're overlanding, because you don't wanna run out of water. You also don't want to run out of electricity. So we have a 300 watt solar panel on the roof and our solar charge controller right here. It's going to keep those three 100 amp hour AGM batteries trickled charged so you can enjoy your adventure. There's two other ways the batteries charge in this as well. It's when you're plugged into a properly wired tow vehicle, your tow vehicle is charging the batteries or when I'm plugged into shore power, the, um, the converter is charging the batteries. We also have a stereo, which is Bluetooth capable, speakers inside and speakers outside, as well as circuit breakers below each electrical device. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the new OP15 from Opus, and feel free to reach out with any other questions you have. We look forward to answering them.